pals how you doing welcome back to another video but it's actually Christmas Eve so happy Christmas it's not very summery today it's rainy it's windy it's it's still pretty warm but it, it's cloudy anyway I'm gonna go over and see my buddy Dion now we fished together maybe a week or two ago I can't remember now but we fished together a while ago and we caught a couple of really nice fish yep got him Got him. All right, one more look. Go. Just thick, 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 thick. Through the folds. Yeah. Mm. Wicked fish, bro. <laughs> just shine, then just up. Beautiful. Hold that. And back in. Stunning man. Belly. Oh, gone. Yeah. Look at that. Pretty little fish. See you, buddy. Yeah. Shot, buddy. Yeah, brother. Boom. <laughs> Beautiful man. Go for it. It was a really cool day. I'm going back over there today. We're gonna catch up, we're gonna go fishing. I don't know what we're gonna do. We're gonna wing it, basically. We're, we're winging it. That's what we do. We just wing it. Last fish before Christmas. Let's try and make it a good one, eh? Yo, okay, so we are at location one. I think, I think we're pretty much ready to go. Let's go say what up to Dion real quick. Oh my God, oh my God, ah, my eyes. <laughs> and there's Dion, you remember him? <laughs> one of those days where I feel like I've just forgotten something all the time. Quick walk down to the river. The mission today, brown trout. Big brown trout. Ooh. <laughs> Dry fly, yeah. One, two, three. There's two at the back. I just saw a guy move in. He's dropping down. Yeah, good fish. So that's that's how you un, undo your fly from your rod. I just I just I just looked at that. Yeah, it's good, eh? <laughs> All right. So we're gonna dry drop of this. We'll go for like a parachute hairs ear thingy on top. Maybe like an arm's length of leader and a little brown thing. I might go like a size 16, maybe like a hair and copper. A couple of guys in here too. It's gonna go real slow. This guy's still over the back. Oh yeah, there's a whole pot of them down there. There's like 10 fish sitting on that sandbar over there. All right. We're gonna try. Smack one through this bunch of fish. Coming right through the fish here. Nothing on the first drift. Coming right through them here. I'm gonna go a little bit heavier with that fly, I reckon, bro. Right, we'll go a little bit heavier with the old fly. Actually, I might just go to the secret, secret fly. Oh, I got the mean coffee shakes. All right, here we go. Okay, fly change to something a little bit heavier. Lead them a little bit more just to get that fly down right in their face. Coming right through them now. Coming right over them now. Any of those. I wonder if I'm going over their head. Try one more, then I might just go to a longer dropper. Anywhere there. 
All right, we'll go longer. All right, so we're gonna lengthen up this dropper. I feel like I'm going over the top of them. Mm, 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 mm. A little bit of a flashback pheasant tail goodness going on. Size 32 zebra midge after this, mate. <laughs> Crush that barb and we're good to go. Give it time to sink. Online, see we're pretty much bumping bottom now. Anywhere through here. Got him. Nice, feels chunky. Just needed that extra bit of length. I'm just gonna watch my rod tip in this tree. Come on, baby. Come on. Yeah, good shoulders on her. Almost. Yeah, boy. We on the board, son. With a chunk. Uh, wicked cool, so what I need to do is just lengthen that, that dropper a little bit more and a heavier fly on there just to get down in its face first drift. That girl, that's a girl fish. She wanted to have a go and uh, beautiful, beautiful condition there. Right, so we'll just rest this a little bit. There's bound to be fish in this piece of water here. Go heavier, maybe an indicator, nymph fit. Because I uh, actually kept the fish down in this piece of water, so well away from up there. So they sh those guys shouldn't even know what happened. Soon find out. Right, cool. So, the honest, just set up with like a. You just got like a stone fly on there, eh? Just a single stone fly? Yep, it's so a single stone fly, little indicator. And then what we're gonna do, she's gonna, she's gonna nymph through this deep hole here. So what we got here at the top, water comes in, there's a drop off, drops down and there's a nice deep hole there. Can't really see in there, but we know there's fish in there, for sure, for sure. It looks like, oh, <laughs> at the tail here, what I thought was just the black bottom, it's just a carpet of big fish. Basically, if you just cast up and then drift down that main foam, you're gonna go through the middle of a lot of them. So if you, if, you, if you kind of do a nice cast up, mend down and just drift through that foam line, definitely gonna get a fish. That's amazing. What a place. Oh, sweet. Oh yeah, that's him. Never know, might be able to pick one off the bat. That'd be nice. Yeah, exactly. Push there. Ooh. Had a bit of a shifty, didn't he? Yeah. Yes! Nice, bro. Nicely done. You do the same thing with your finger that I do on the line. It can give you a little bit more pressure if you need it, eh? Solid, brother. Oh, almost scooped. I want a scoop of ice cream there. <laughs>
Dalton. Yeah. Nice one, brother. Sweet as well. Good fishing, man. Good fishing. That was freaking awesome. Wicked. Just took a couple of drifts to get the fly in the right place, and she monstered it. Again, just uh, just those greens on the back, and the golds, and ooh, great. Nicely done, man. That was a little stonefly, eh? Yeah. Home tied stonefly. Is that one works? Prototype, apparently. So let me give you a quick look at what I've done. I've got the same same leader on. I've just added a little indicator. So I've added a 101 right there. A bit of forex to another UV pheasant tail. Fishing maybe five or six feet deep and uh, gonna fish the main part of this pool because Dion didn't even get into the main part of the pool. So I'm gonna go straight down that main flow. Got him. Yeah, that was a definite take, eh? Ooh, that actually went upstream, that indicator. Yeah, it was good. You wanted it. It's pretty upset. Oh, hook pulled. That guy just popped off quite a good way into the fight too, which is a bit of a shame because it felt like a decent fish. So I'm just gonna bang a couple more through then we might just leave this piece of water to settle for a, for a while. Oh. There's a rainbow! <laughs> Just a rainbow sitting at the back there. Beautiful net job, thanks mate. Pretty fish, real clean, real silver. Let's get it back. See you later. Right, so I lost that brown and then a couple of casts later, that scrappy little rainbow came in, smashed it. It Dion hooked up, lost a fish, retying. Still a heap of fish in there. So we'll, we should be able to get one more out of here and then we'll cruise on, give this a rest, go somewhere else, see what we can find. All right, so we're actually not gonna move from here just for another little bit, just because it's raining and we've got a nice bit of shelter under this tree. Um, but I will take this time just to show you what I'm using. If you watch these videos, you'll know this guy. So this is Frank, Frank the Tank. This is the H3 5 weight F Mirage LT Reel, five weight infinity smooth line from Scientific Anglers, seven foot poly leader, tippet ring, build my leader off of that. Dion, he's using the um, he's using the H36 weight D, 
It's a little bit more grunt in this guy. He's using the, again, the Mirage LT. Looks like he's using a size bigger than mine. I think that might, I think that's a size two. That might be a size three by the looks of it, I think. Yeah, mine's a two, his is a three. I've just seen it actually on top here. It actually tells you one, two, and three. And then he's using an MPX from Scientific Anglers and uh, pretty much building his leader straight off of that. So you've got the five weight, you've got the six weight, H3s, D, F, respectively. Okay, so I've still got the soft hackle on from before, a little bit of split shot, stone fly, and I really feel like, after the rest of just giving it, just giving it 10 minutes rest to calm down, I'm pretty sure I can get another one out of here. And then as soon as this rain eases up, we out of here to a different piece of water. I wouldn't normally sit on a piece of water like this, but purely because of the weather situation, back into a rain jacket again, just trying to keep the camera gear dry. Got him. I think that's another rainbow. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh, I'm all caught up. Oh boy. <laughs> Got a hell of a tangle. <laughs> Wrapped around the reel and my hand and my finger. <laughs> and it's another big party crasher. So strong, man. Oh, maybe not. No, no, it's a brown. It's a brown. That's why it feels so thumpy and strong. No, I just kept that soft hackle on. And he ate the soft hackle by the looks of it. Yeah. She ate the soft hackle. Mm, there you turn around. Oh, good net job, bro. Nicely netted. Shot, mate. That right there is some professional skills. It's almost like you uh, yeah. should be a guide or something. <laughs> <laughs> Look how fat she is. Almost. It's kind of almost mousy, <laughs> like just the thickness across here. Yeah. Look at those colours. That's what never comes out on video, eh? No. These beautiful colours yeah, on the sure gill plate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mate. What the condition factor. <laughs> beautiful. It's like a, a two pound trout head. Yeah. If that. Absolutely. Just a little baby head. Fish, bro. Yeah. -hoo -hoo -hoo.
Nice. Yep, 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 yes! Got it done, son! On our way back to the truck, we're gonna drop in at this pool we started at, see if we can just get one bonus fish. Just had a good rest from this morning. Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> I see them. Yeah, brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, safe. Where are you going? Yeah! Ah, oh, super sick. So it's been a while since um, I checked in, but we've just been having too much fun fishing. Caught plenty of fish, lost plenty of fish. A couple of really good browns we lost. A couple of rainbows we caught and lost. It's been a great day, awesome day. So we just dropped into this first pool on the way back to the trucks. And uh, that's probably my fish of the day. I'm stoked about that. I'm gonna try and finish with a fish for the bro and then go out on a high and that'll be us. Oh! <laughs> It's a big fish. I think he might be wrapped. I think so. I'm he's acting like he's wrapped. Yeah. We'll take our time and try and get him because it's a good fish. That'd be fish of the day. Don't go around the back yeah. of there. Oh, he's over there, isn't he? Come oh. <laughs> cool, done. Back at the trout. What a cool day. Big brown trout, some cool rainbow trout. Something. Another little pocket rocket. Just super pretty. There you go. Some wins, some losses, emotional roller coaster, which is what it's all about. Bro, thanks for the day, my friend. Ming. Good yeah. to fish with you again. That's, that's just good fun. It's just as good as it gets, eh? It's pretty much, eh? Yeah. It's really cool. Anyway, thanks heaps for watching. Give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed, boop, hit the button, join the team. Have yourselves a great week, everybody. I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.